attach the large end of the charging cradle's USB cable to the USB port of the computer. Attach the small end of the charging cradle's USB cable to the charging cradle. The small connector is keyed, so please pay attention to which end is wider and which end is narrower, as it can only be plugged into the cradle in one orientation. The camera comes to you already charged. When you need to charge the camera, just simply dock the camera facing forward in the charging base like this when the computer is on. It is easy to tell if the cradle is properly connected. To properly connect the camera, you need to hear a snapping sound on both the left and right side of the camera. Additionally, the top of the camera will both have the red and green lights lit when it is properly connected. The charging base also allows the video photos and audio files on the camera to be downloaded to the computer. If you plan to use the optional external camera, you attach it by unscrewing the screw on the left side of the camera. Any references to left or right are based on the officer's left or right when the camera is worn. Next, attach the external camera connector with the sticker facing up toward the top of the camera. Now the external camera is ready to use by attaching the clip to anything that you wish. With this camera attached, all video is shot through the external camera instead of the main camera lens. I will now show you how to use the camera. The operation is identical whether you use the external camera or the internal camera. Any references to left or right are based on the officer's left or right when the camera is worn. On the camera's right side, there is a red power button with a power symbol on it. Hold it for three seconds to turn it on or off. The camera has a laser feature. The red button on the left side of the camera turns it on or off. You can use the laser to figure out where the camera is aimed if you wish to adjust how to wear the camera for best recording angle. On the camera's right side, there are three black buttons. The top button has a picture of a video camera and starts and stops the video. Press it once to start recording. If your camera is already on, it will start recording right away. If it was off, holding the button for two seconds will both turn the camera on and start the recording. When the video recording is in progress, a red light will light on top of the camera, as well as a light on the display in the back of the camera. Press the video button again to stop recording. It will beep when the video stops. Most features on the camera are configurable. If you want to operate the camera in stealth mode, you can turn off the beep sound when the video starts and stops. 
The middle black button allows for audio recording. It operates the same way as the video button and beeps and vibrates when audio recording starts. It will beep and vibrate when audio recording stops. The bottom button allows for the taking of still pictures. Press it once to take a still photo. Other features of this camera include IR illuminated night vision, configurable pre-record, and configurable post-record. Any of these features may be turned off and on. One additional feature of this camera is motion detection, which is handy for surveillance. You can arm this feature and put the camera down on a stable surface. It will not record until there is motion seen in the field of view. When something moves in front of the camera's lens, it automatically begins recording. Once you have completed using the camera, you can download the video by launching the Veripix software, then docking the camera back on its charging dock. The first thing you will need to do is to launch the Veripix Admin program. Double click on Veripix Admin to launch it. You will need to launch the Locker application. For the purposes of the test, log in as administrator using the provided password. One of the features of Locker is that you can implement retention policies of different periods for different types of videos, audio recordings, or photos. This screen tells you which items have expired and gives you a chance to delete items that have passed their retention period. You are free to experiment with this feature and will bypass it for now during this demo. You are now in the locker's main screen. Downloading videos is easy. Just click the download button and the download status window appears. The computer is now waiting for you to connect one or more cameras to the system. The system allows you to connect as many cameras as you wish. A typical configuration will have between 8 to 80 cameras per computer kiosk for optimum performance. One of the advantages of the Veripix software is that it works with multiple body-worn cameras. The process is identical, regardless of what camera you use. This means that you can mix and match multiple cameras on the same computer network. As you know, technology changes all the time. This ability to use different cameras at the same time on the same network means your system will never be obsolete. As new cameras come out, you can gently phase in the new cameras as you continue to use the old ones until they break or become obsolete. It also means that you train your personnel to do the same things regardless of what camera model they use. This is much better than proprietary systems that are tied to only one type of camera. To download the video, just dock the camera onto the charging dock. The system automatically detects the camera and downloads the video, photos, and audio files. These files are automatically assigned to the officer that has been assigned the camera. Once the download is completed, 
Click the search button to see the new thumbnail appear for the new videos. To play the videos, just double click the thumbnail. Once you have this window open, you can click the play button to play the video. If you want to see the video in full screen, double click the video area. To return to the smaller size, hit escape on your keyboard. You can click the audit trail button to see the audit trail. You can add titles and notes to this video. Once you have added them, the video becomes searchable using this data. This concludes the initial set setup. There are other videos on our website to further train you on how to use the Locker application. More advanced users can also get training on the Digital Evidence Manager application. For more information, visit the www.verapic.com website or call us at 888-VERAPIC. That's 888-837-4742 and ask for the training department.